Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with some more of this uh, Farm Fresh collection pick that uh, that I've been showing you guys with just kind of random cards from from this collection I bought. Uh, you know, this is a box I'm going through. We've got a lot of just it's clearly organized at least. So um, some of the uh, treasure hunting kind of aspect is gone, but there's some weird sets in here, which is why I chose this box to pick up. So we've been through the 89 and 88 Pacific Legends. We're gonna flip over to this one that's labeled Red Sox Singles. Anything could be in here from a Red Sox standpoint, so let's just see what we can find. We got Wade Boggs right off the bat. I imagine there'll be quite a few Wade Boggs in here if it's Red Sox Singles. We got something stuck to the back, which is Don Baylor, okay. <laughs> Steve Crawford. Now, why is someone taking the time to put these in sleeves? Like these are, just common players, and then they're taking the time to, to mark them as 10 cents a piece. I mean, this is just like, it's gotta be from the heyday of card collecting when card shops were literally like, just going through with a fine tooth comb on each of these, and this is just a waste of time. I don't know why they would have done this. It's not Red Sox stars, it's just every Red Sox player ever. All right, a lot of Dwight Evans, Fred Lynn, 80, what is that, 81? Yep, 81 Fleer, first year, and there's 81 Tops. There's another Wade Boggs. Carl Yastrzemski, Diamond King from Don Rice from 81. That's a good card, as well as the Tim Herring, who maybe didn't pan out the way they thought. All right, some more Red Sox players, some more, there's another Tim, there's Jim Rice, so that's a good one. 84 Donruss. I actually, I never really see much of this 84 Donruss set. The color on the back is so interesting, so I'm always interested to see that 84 Donruss pop up. Oh, there's Roger Clemens. <laughs> Checklist. It's about as good as we can get there. So whenever you buy these collections, you always wonder how much they're picked through. I'm just going to take this 91 Tops for my study on uh, 91 Tops Glowbacks. But you don't know how much they're, they're picked through or what condition they're going to be in. At least, you know, a lot of the ones I was looking at before, there's a Yastrzemski throwback, um, were in really rough shape. At least these are in sleeves and they look like they're in really good shape. So that's a huge plus for them. Now, the other bonus would be if there were any good cards in here. So, Alan Nipper. And we got one top loader here. So we'll see what that ends up being. You'd think it would be a great card. There's another 91 tops for our study. And it's gonna be, oh, Tom Seaver. Wait, wait, so you had the choice between Tom Seaver 1987 Donruss and Jim Rice 1980 tops to put in the top loader and you put the, the 87 Donruss Tom Seaver in there. That's an interesting choice, I'm gonna take that out. So clearly, even though you're saying this one's 75 cents and that's a dollar, I'll never understand people. But uh, and look how faded that is, you can see. All right, so that was our Red Sox collection, singles that were in that pack. And then this one says French's 1992. So this is French's mustard, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, it's not. It's Paul Molitor 1988 tops and Robin Young. So this is probably a Brewers team set in this box, I'm gonna say. That's my guess. 1980 Tops Brewers team set. Yes, it is. I don't know. Yeah, so any Brewers fans out there, we got the whole, the gang's all here. The full Brewers team set. Um, you know, the two cards I'm going to pull out of here are, of course, the front and the back. Robin Young and Paul Molitor. So we'll do that. We'll put these back in here, but they're mislabeled here because I thought it was going to be French's 1992. All right, let's look at 1992 Ziploc, which it's not what it is. This is Post. Post Serial 1990. So this is when you could buy any Post Serial and it would come with a baseball card or two as the, the prize or the toy. I actually have a handful of these because, you know, as a kid, that was great. There's Dwight Gooden, Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Oh, Ricky Henderson. Two Ricky Hendersons. So I actually really like these cards. And this is the, there's a Yogi Berra. Oh, so this is the Ziploc that it mentioned. There's Yogi Berra. Now he's Fox Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, Pee Wee Reese, Brooks Robinson, two of those, Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer, 
three or four, three of those, Bob Gibson. Yeah, so that was pretty fun. I'll take it. A um, bunch of cards we can move around in there, put in some collections or something. All right, let's do a couple more of these. We have, oh, that was the 1990 Post. That was the label on that one. So this is 1991 Post. There's Eric Davis. Whoever got these ate a lot of cereal. To get all these. There's Bo Jackson. That's a good card. Good one for him. Jim Abbott, Daryl Strawberry. Now, where are, there it is, Ryan Sandberg. I knew it was going to be in here. Two of them, too. That makes my day. I'm trying to think if I, I know I have a post Ryan Sandberg in my collection, but I don't know if I have this one. So now I've got two. Ozzie Smith, Tony Gwynn, George Brett, and Kirby Puckett. All right, eating a lot of cereal to get those postcards. Uh, 1992 post. And this is when they changed the design a good bit, you can see. And it shows a terrible picture of Kevin Mass. There's my, look, there's Mark Grace. I don't think I have that one. That's fun. I have this Ryan Sandberg. So that'll be a good one to double up on. Bobby Bonilla, Chris Sabo. Wait, he's, oh yeah, he's wearing his Rex Specs. I was going to say, Chris Sabo without Rex Specs is not even Chris Sabo. Lenny Dykstra looking confused as usual. Daryl Strawberry, Will Clark. All right, we'll go through one more, one the rest of the, we'll go through the rest of the section and then we'll, we'll call it a, a day here. All right, so it looks like we've got some more posts. This is probably 1993 post. And we start off with a Ryan Sandberg. Now these are not in sleeves for some reason, but they are still in good shape. There's Rhino, there's Don Mattingly, Dwight Gooden, Chuck Nowak's a rookie star. And again, this is when everyone decided we are gonna make baseball cards because they're the biggest thing ever. So we'll just make as many baseball cards in as many places as possible. And that's what I love about this box is that we have Pepsi, Bazooka, Long John Silver's, Jimmy Dean. Like, we're going to look through all of these things and see these random cards that were made by people who shouldn't have been making baseball cards but were. So we're not going to see a lot of team logos on these cards because they didn't have the actual license to do it. And actually, it's funny here because they had the Major League license but not the team license. So there's Griffey. Probably a Ken Griffey Jr. card you probably haven't seen before. Bobby Bonilla, Terry Pendleton, there's Barry Larkin, there's a doffed cap, there's Frank Thomas, Jose Canseco, Tony Gwynn, I have had this Tony Gwynn in my collection before, Nolan Ryan, look at that, there you go, now we're cooking with gas, add those to my personal collection, there's Jeff Bagwell, rookie card, his post-rookie is highly sought after, I'm sure, All right, Dave Justice, okay, now we get into the ones with sleeves on them. Don Manley. So we already hit me. You know, it seems like a lot of duplicates here. So Ryan Sandberg. Ryan Sandberg. Well, when it rains, it pours Ryan Sandberg. All right. Rhino. Yeah, so it looks like we got a lot of duplicates here. But that Dave Justice apparently worth two bucks. I wonder when these were priced. Uh, Barry Bond. Yeah, there's a lot of duplicates here. Well, it was a card shop, I guess, at some point that this collection was in. Um, but they didn't sell in 93, so... I wonder if they were priced in 93. I'm sure they had to be repriced since then, but Dave Justice, $2 for him as the standout card in this set seems a little funny to me. All right. Let's see what else we can pull out of this. Looks like probably more of the same in this set. More George Brett, Sazi Smiths. Put that aside. Du duplicate, triplicate, quadruplicate. All the postcards you can handle. So if you guys are interested in postcards, you know who to come to. Don Manley, lots of those. Right, lots of those. Frank Thomas, Dave Justice, Barry Larkin again. Yeah, so I gotta imagine we have multiple full sets in here. So I get another Nolan Ryan. This one's three bucks. All right, there you go. Jeff Bagwell, the rookie's three bucks. Griffey's three bucks. Another Frank Thomas, three bucks. No, I know they're not three dollars now, but look at that. All those Nolan Ryans. Clearly, even though, um, you know, I can't imagine Post made as many as Tops did of this set. There's clearly no shortage of these of these cards in existence here. Look at all these Nolan Ryans I've got. Tony Gwynn. 
I really am excited. Like all these, all these Frank Thomases. <laughs> I really am excited to add all those Nolan Ryan's, Ryan Sanders and stuff to my collection though. Um, even when I have multiple copies of them, I actually really, I just enjoy it. Um, when I get, get around to showing you guys my full personal collection of those players, uh, you'll see what I mean. All right. Next up, it says 1993 Hostess Cupcakes. Oh, wait, we got a couple more posts hiding out there. Oh, Tony Gwynn, this must be 95. No, 93. More 93 posts, but this is, yeah, 92 post. This is 93. Tony Gwynn, George Brett, Kirby Puckett. So that's 1993 post. All right, so this might be 93 Hostess Cupcakes, and it is. I remember this set. I have a couple of these. But now, hopefully, there's Eckersley. Hopefully, I can add some more to my, list. my uh, collection. There's Frank Thompson. You can see that these actually have the team logos on them, so they are legit. Tony Sheffield. Carlos Baerga. Roberto Alomar. He's a Hall of Famer. More Eckersley. There's Canseco. Pendleton coming off his MVP season. Barry Larkin, Strawman with his nephew, Gary Sheffield. Oh, no, that's not, that's Dwight Gooden's nephew, Gary Sheffield. Sorry about that. John Crook. Come on, give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. There's Ryan Sandberg. All right, now we're talking. So three of those to my personal collection. Nope, scratch that. Not three. We got... More, more of those. Hold on. More and more and more of those. Andy Vance, like, give me, oh, there's a Ryan Sandberg again. Give me Nolan Ryan. Give me Nolan Ryan. You got to have a Nolan Ryan in this year. Daryl Strawberry, Larkin, Canseco again. Oh, stuck to something. Nope, nope. There's just two of them in the sleeve. Two of them in the sleeve. There you go. Eckersley. Frank Thomas, yeah, so multiples in those sleeves. There's something in a top loader. What is it? What's it going to be? There's Andre Scalaraga for the first time. Bagwell. Tom Glavin. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but Tom Glavin's the one we put in the top loader. There's Henderson. There's Griffey, Roger Clemens, and Kirby Puckett. So look at all those. This is 1993 Hostess Cupcakes. So buy some cupcakes, get some baseball cards. Every kid's dream um, hope you guys enjoyed some of those random cards there. And uh, next time we'll break through the rest of this box, some, some more of this box. We have some like of these uh, little plastic cases here with like mini subsets and things. So it'll be interesting to see what we find there. Until then, be well. I'll see you next time.